So coming up on Sunday, we have a Packers versus Broncos matchup. And I think for a young team in the Packers, currently sitting at 2-3, two, two tough losses, one to a very good Lions team, another to a not-so-good Las Vegas Raiders team, I'm still wondering, you know, how is this team going to pan out the rest of the season? We saw them start off somewhat well. Jordan Love was playing really well in his first couple games. The last couple have not been so pretty. And so we've seen that inconsistency with Jordan Love. And I think this is a game where if you want to see, you know, Jordan Love get back to how he was playing the first couple games, this is the opportunity because this is the worst defense in the NFL if you look at points per game. The Broncos have been abysmal this season, currently sitting at 1-5. And And so I think this is a game that is going to um, really determine how the Packers' season sort of goes from here because if we win, we'll be sitting at 3-3. Three and three, which isn't too bad considering what's happened so far. If the Packers lose to the to the Broncos, that puts the Packers at two and four, which obviously a team two and four versus three and three, that's a pretty big difference. And considering the Packers have already lost two in a row, to lose a third in a row would be would be tough for this team. And one of the biggest problems so far this year for the Packers has been the fact that Aaron Jones has barely been healthy. You also throw in Christian Watson, who's recently come back, but he hasn't really had that time to build with Jordan Love. And in the first couple or the first game with Aaron Jones, um, you saw that when he had the ball in his hands, the Packers were consistently finding success. And so with him not playing, that has definitely hurt the Packers offense. And it looks like he may be back coming in on Sunday. So that should be a big boost for this Packers offense. And if we look at the, the Broncos defense so far this year, worst rushing defense in the NFL. The Packers have struggled to run the ball. If we want to, you know, have success this week, this is a defense we should be able to run the ball against, especially if Aaron Jones is back. Second worst passing defense in the NFL. One thing to note, though, is last week the Broncos played the Kansas City Chiefs. And in that game, they held the Chiefs to 19 points, mainly due to the fact that they played really good red zone defense. The Chiefs only went one for five. So it's not like this Broncos defense hasn't had a little bit of success. Obviously, that game against the Dolphins where they allowed 70 points greatly hurt all of their stats and has somewhat skewed it, but still it has been the worst defense in the NFL. In that game, Mahomes was still able to throw for 306 yards, um, but it's just important to note that, you know, this defense can play well at times if they need to, even against a pretty high-powered Kansas City Chiefs offense, but still, Jordan Love, I think he needs to have a bounce-back game here. Um, I think that he was playing with a lot more confidence in the first couple games, and especially the past game against the Raiders. He did not look like he had that same confidence. He was making more poor decisions. And this week, Jordan Love talked about how he wants to focus on taking some more of those short completions. He has one of the lowest um, passing rates when it comes to 0-9 to yards. I believe it's you know 28th to 32nd, somewhere around there. And the Packers clearly want to see him not always force the ball down the field, which is one aspect of his game I do like. The fact that he is aggressive and willing to take risks... I like that in a quarterback. I don't want a guy who's just, you know, dinking and dunking all day because he's afraid to, pa- to, to uh, push it down the field. But Jordan Love is not afraid. And I think that if he can start to, you know, take some more of those easy completions, it could help boost that confidence. And um, it's just about him making the decisions at the right time. You know, when he has a guy open deep, can he hit him? Uh, he's definitely struggled with completion percentage of the season and accuracy. And so hopefully we see that improve this week. If we look at the Broncos offense, of course, with Russell Wilson getting traded there, at the time, I thought that was a smart move. I assumed that Russ would look somewhat similar to what he did in his you know final years in Seattle. But with Nathaniel Hackett, it was, it was just a bad season. Things did not go well. And the Broncos, of course, move on from Nathaniel Hackett. So far this year, Russell Wilson has been a lot better than, than last season. Even though the Broncos have the 17th ranked scoring offense, Russell Wilson does have 12 touchdowns to four interceptions and 99 passer rating. And... The Packers defense, I think, has been up and down this season. Against good competition, the Packers have played very poorly, even against average competition in the Falcons, who haven't had as much success recently as they did against the Packers. Um, This Packers defense, definitely a, I would say, bottom third unit in the NFL. Uh, Against the Las Vegas Raiders, it wasn't a bad performance, but I still don't think this is a very good defense, at least as we've seen so far through six weeks. But this is an offense the Packers defense shouldn't have a terrible time with. Um, just when you look at, you know, they're probably bottom third offense in the NFL, 19th in rushing yards per game, 20th in pass yards per game. Um, and so if the Packers want to have, I think an all around game where the Packers come in, play pretty good on defense, play solid on offense, get some more confidence in Jordan Love and sort of what he can do with this offense, hopefully with Aaron Jones back with Christian Watson back for another game. This is a game the Packers need to win if they want to have, 
I guess any chance of being in the playoff conversation going forward, sure, if you're at two and four, you're not out of it, but the odds of you coming back from that, not super high. And so if the Packers can win this game, look, you know, look good, have a lot of positives coming out of here, run the ball, run the ball well, um, you know, maybe get a few Russell Wilson interceptions. He threw two last week, I believe, make some, you know, force some prop mistakes for Russell Wilson. The Packers could come away with this game. So um, I hope that this can be different than the last two weeks. It's much more fun to watch the Packers when the Packers are actually winning the games. So we'll see what happens here on Sunday. But those are sort of my takes on this game. If you want more Packers content, feel free to subscribe down below.